on November 11, 2022, Wakanda Forever, the sequel to Black Panther, came out in the movie theaters. On February 12, 2023, French Defense Minister Sebastian Le Carnu tweeted a statement. He condemned the false and misleading representation of French troops in the movie. Why this sudden outrage against a movie that came out three months ago? A French journalist recently watched Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Because of the Oscar nomination, Wakanda Forever returned to the movie theaters, at least in the United States. Wakanda Forever started streaming on Disney Plus this month. The journalists paid close attention to the United Nations in Geneva scene. Queen Ramonda confronts the French ambassador for trying to steal vibranium from a Mali outreach center, a metal found only in Wakanda that made the small African nation the most technologically advanced society in the world. The Dora Ma Aji escorts the captured mercenaries into the chamber to the French ambassador. Je vous en prie. Let our gracious response to this incursion be an olive branch. Further attempts on our resources will be considered an act of aggression and met with a much steeper response. We mourn the loss of our king. But do not think for a second that Wakanda has lost her ability to protect our resources. The journalist noted that the mercenaries wore camouflage uniforms similar to those of French troops deployed in Mali. Would the Ministry of Defense care to comment? French Defense Minister Sebastien Le Carnu tweeted on February 12, 2023. I strongly condemn this false and deceptive representation of our armed forces. I am thinking of and honoring the 58 French soldiers who died defending Mali at its request in the face of Islamist terrorist groups. France, a former colonial power in Africa, spent 10 years defending Mali from Islamic terrorists. After a military coup against the Mali government in 2020, the French pulled their troops out in 2021. The idea that modern-day French soldiers would try to steal the resources of another nation was outrageous. Why are the French the bad guys in Wakanda forever? With Wakanda revealing itself to the world at the end of Black Panther, the United States and Europe became second-tier superpowers. The only way they can shift the balance of power back in their favor is to acquire vibranium and build futuristic weapons. Similar to how the nuclear bomb in World War II created superpowers and wannabe superpowers. The French government still maintained diplomatic relations with French-speaking African nations. That made them the logical choice to be the European representative at the United Nations in Geneva scene. Making the confrontation with the queen of an African nation never conquered by colonial powers, even more dramatic. The movie did make a mistake using camouflage uniforms. The French government would have wanted plausible deniability if the mercenaries got caught. The uniforms would have been all black and the mercenaries should have been local people. That would have made the link between the French government and the mercenaries less explicit in the movies. A link that would have been lost on the audience. Was the French government outrage against Wakanda forever justified? Within the context of the real world, yes. Within the context of the movie, no. Let me know what you think about the French government response to Wakanda forever in the comments below. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.